There is a champion, yes, there is a victor, and you have one who succeeds and one who fails. But the greatest competition is not against each other. The greatest measure of our own personal strengths, our own fortitude, is when we compete against ourselves. We are not competing against each other, and yet the world tries to teach us that we should pit each other against each other, that we should try to succeed at the expense of someone else who fails. That is not true success. True success is succeeding together. Stephen R. Covey often spoke of this as a win-win situation. No one wants a win-lose situation where one person wins and the other person loses. Welcome to Music, Motivation, and More, the Positivity Podcast. I am your host, Gerald Simon. I am the founder of Music Motivation and the creator of the Cool Song Series and the Essential Piano Exercise Course. And I'm excited to have you listen to the show today. Today's podcast is titled, You Are Uniquely Original. Let me explain. Be you. Don't pretend to be someone else. Be yourself. Don't be an imposter. For the positive perceptions portion of this podcast, I would like to start by reading an excerpt from my book, Perceptions, Parables, and Pointers. This is on page 29, and this is what it says. Be yourself. You are uniquely original. Don't blend in with the latest fads or fashions. Stand out. Set yourself apart from others in a good way. Be the best version of you that you can be. You don't need the latest gadgets and gizmos to fit in or feel accepted by the masses. Be true to who you are. It's interesting because I think too many people get lost. They, they lose themselves. And it starts at a very young age. Because early on, even in grade school, children learn instinctively that there are differences. And it's okay to be different. It's good to be different. But instinctively, from a very young age, children learn that sometimes those differences can cause individuals to exclude others, to form their own little groups, their own little parties. We have cliques. And different groups emerge, which is wonderful because not everyone fits in these groups. But what happens is instead of accepting everyone and including everyone, that is when division occurs. And people feel as if they are separated into groups. They feel sometimes judged. That division, it actually divides people quite literally and figuratively as well. And what happens is, sometimes when people feel that loss, that disconnect, they feel excluded. They feel as if they are lost. And sometimes, unfortunately, individuals will try to fit in. They will do what they see their peers do. They give in to peer pressure because they're trying to fit in. Sometimes they start doing and saying things that they would never do or say in the first place, but they're trying to feel like they have a place that they fit in. And so, though they may start to fit in with their surroundings, they are not being true to who they are. Now, that can cause serious problems mentally, emotionally, even physically, when individuals feel as if they need to conform either to a group or an individual, to a society, but they lose their personality, their voice. They lose their uniqueness. They are not true to who they are. And we must be true to who we are. For the motivation in a minute portion of this podcast, I would like to read in the pointer section of my book, Perceptions, Parables, and Pointers, a quote by Galileo Galilei. This is what he says. You cannot teach a man anything. You can only help him discover it in himself. 
For the Music Within portion of this podcast, I would like to have us listen to a piano solo I composed. It is titled Discord, and it has these dark chords. It's in a minor key, but it has these huge chords. They're octave chords, and they're moving all up and down. Listen to the music, but listen to the emotion, the feeling, and see if you can feel what hopefully this piece was trying to portray. This is Discord from my album, Sweet Serenity. For the poetry that motivates portion of this podcast, I would like to read a poem I wrote from my book, The As If Principle Motivational Poetry. This poem is titled, Never Doubt Yourself. Never doubt yourself, and never compare yourself with others. You have talents and gifts. You have greatness within. You are wonderful and special, and you are you. Be the best that you can be, regardless of what others do. Increase your intelligence, learn and grow. Seek wisdom and experience, so you may know that you can trust yourself and your greatness within. Never doubt your abilities, and you'll succeed and win.
I think that is the key in everything we do. It's not about succeeding, and it's not about winning. To truly succeed in life, to truly win at anything, means if you are playing a game, that one side wins and one side loses. And that's not really winning. I mean, yes, there is a champion, yes, there is a victor, and you have one who succeeds and one who fails. But the greatest competition is not against each other. The greatest measure of our own personal strengths, our own fortitude, is when we compete against ourselves. We are not competing against each other, and yet the world tries to teach us that we should pit each other against each other, that we should try to succeed at the expense of someone else who fails. That is not true success. True success is succeeding together. Stephen R. Covey often spoke of this as a win-win situation. No one wants a win-lose situation where one person wins and the other person loses. No matter how you configure it, if one person wins and the other person loses, then truthfully, both are losing. It's not about hustling and trying to outdo or outcompete each other. It's about winning together. It's about helping both sides achieve a victory. But the truest victory that we can achieve is when we are honest with ourselves. It is important to be honest with others, but we must be honest with ourselves. When we look ourselves in the mirror each morning, we must be true to who we are. Even if the world around us comes crashing down and crumbles, if the ground beneath our feet collapses, if we are still true to ourselves, then we have nothing to be afraid of or apologize for because we are being true to who we are. Now, I am religious. I believe in God. And I often speak about God. He is my Heavenly Father. And I know not everyone believes in God, and that is okay if you don't. But for me personally, if I am true to who I am, that means being true to my Father in Heaven. For me personally, it is part of who I am. And I know not everyone is religious, and that's okay. Again, you can be true to who you are. But for me personally, and for anyone else who believes in a higher power, you cannot be true to yourself if you deny the source of that power. And for me, everything is a gift from God. Everywhere I look, I am reminded of His goodness. I am reminded of how much I owe to my Father in Heaven. And I am reminded of how everyone around me, everyone is being blessed. We all have struggles, we all have trials, we all have difficulties. As we put our faith and trust in each other, and if we believe in God, we will put our faith and trust in God. And in doing so, we will be able to accomplish everything we hope to accomplish. We will be true to who we are. We will be true to each other. And we will be true to God. And so it is my hope that we will be ourselves. That we will know that we are perfectly imperfect. No one is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone trips. Everyone falls. Everyone has trials. It's just a part of life. It's who we are. It's what we experience. We have good days. We have bad days. We all do. But if we can be honest and if we can be true, true to ourselves, true to what we believe, true to what we have learned, the lessons, the life lessons we are learning every day, if we will be true to each other and true to ourselves, then we will experience true peace and harmony. It's that inner peace. Trust yourself. Trust each other. Trust that there is a higher power looking out for you, watching over you. And sometimes we feel alone. Sometimes we feel abandoned. Sometimes we feel as if we are lost. We are confused. We are unsure. And that's okay. We're not alone. We all have those feelings. We all have those mishaps and misunderstandings. But we can get through whatever difficult or dark day may fall upon us. We can progress. We can improve. We can be better. As I often say, we can be better 
today than we were yesterday. That is my hope. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening to this podcast. I would love to have you listen to my other podcasts as well. Follow me on social media. Watch my YouTube videos on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Gerald Simon. But thank you guys for listening to this podcast. I hope you have a wonderful day. Make today a great day. Make today your very best day. Each and every day can be better than the day before. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And God bless you guys. See you. Bye. Thank you for listening to this podcast. I hope you have a wonderful day. Make your dreams come true starting today. So smile all the while. Be happy. Be positive. Do your best today. And continually strive to be better each and every day. That we may be better today than we were yesterday. And that tomorrow we will be better than we were today. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thanks for listening. Bye. Subscribe to Music, Motivation, and More, the Positivity Podcast, to receive updates of each new weekly podcast produced and released by Gerald Simon. Every Monday, a new podcast is released to help motivate and inspire individuals to learn, to grow, to do, to be, and become the very best they can become. These are all motivational messages that inspire men and women of all ages to do and be their best, to set goals, to work on improving who they are and who they would like to become. Thank you again for listening. Connect with us on social media to become part of the conversation as we all work together to motivate each other to do and be our best. A new podcast is recorded and released on Mondays. Listen on any podcast platform of your preference. But I'd love to have you listen to my music as well. You can listen to my music and find my artist name, Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N. You can listen on Spotify, on Pandora, Apple Music, Amazon, all the different streaming platforms. I would love to have you check out my YouTube channel. It is youtube.com slash Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N. I have motivation in a minute and poetry that motivates videos that I have produced in addition to my own music videos and music educational instructional tutorials that I've created to help teach music the fun way. I'd love to have you check it out. I'd love to connect with you on social media. You can connect with me on any social media platform. You can go to facebook.com slash Gerald Simon. I'm also on Instagram. Twitter, LinkedIn, all the different social pages, at Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N. But I'd love to have you check out my music. Let me know what you think. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys have a great day.